Hello and welcome to this introductory video which will show you how to create and modify parametric buildings using Modeler, a SketchUp extension for urban design. First, make sure you've added Modeler to SketchUp. You can install it directly from Extension Warehouse or with the help of Installer, which you can download from our website by joining Pre-Beta Partner Program. Once installed, you can initialize Modeler by clicking on the blue Modeler icon, or by choosing it from Extensions menu. Please note that in SketchUp versions prior to 2015, this menu was named Plugins. After Modeler is initialized, you have two options to create a building. First, if no faces are selected in SketchUp, you can simply click on the yellow icon and Modeler will create a building based on the shape of selected default floor plan. Alternatively, you can also create a building of arbitrary floor plan. To do this, you have to create a horizontal face first. And then, making sure this face is selected, Click on yellow modeler icon. This will create building based on the selected shape. To display urban control values of selected building, switch to the Survey tab and select Basic or Full option from the Survey of Selected Buildings drop-down list. Same options are available in the Survey of Plot Area drop-down list and with them you can control display of urban control values for the whole plot. If you wish Modeler to also calculate floor space index and site coverage, you need a defined development area size. Switch to Input Data tab, input the desired value into Plot Area field, and press Enter. Once you have set up your model, you can start creating urban design using native SketchUp tools as well as those available through Modeler. For example, to make this building taller, you simply select it and use Scale tool to raise the building as you would any other SketchUp object. After you confirm the action, Modeler will automatically readjust the number of stories to match the building height and recalculate all of its urban control values. Alternatively, you can also specify the number of stories in the Modeler's user interface directly. To do this, switch to Buildings tab, type the desired value into field labeled Number of Stories, and hit Enter. Inside this panel, you can also change other parameters for selected building, such as Land Use, or story heights. As you can see, all changes are reflected immediately in 3D model of the building, as well as in calculation of urban control values for both the building itself and the whole plot. This makes the urban design massing process a lot easier than using standard set of tools. We hope you like Modeler Extension and invite you to give it a try. This video has given you only the brief introduction to basics of creating and modifying buildings. To discover more of what Modeler has to offer, please visit our website at the link below and check out other videos available on our YouTube channel. Thank you.